Welcome to Germany for final four of the Motel FIM Ice Speedway Gladiators World Championship from Insel. We're just down the road from Salzburg and looking at the amazing scenery, you can't deny this is one of the most spectacular settings this year for Ice Speedway. Nestled amongst the hills and beside a still frozen lake is the Max Eicher Arena, which hosts the penultimate race meeting of 2013. Various injuries this season for both of the Komitsovic brothers, but both are about 90% fitness for this round four. And they'll be joined by the usual suspect 16 riders here. Our wild card this weekend is the young German rider Max Nedermeyer, who lines up with starting bib number 16. So the parade took place first of all, and we are basically in Austria here, though we are still just over the border in Germany. So for Frankie Zorn and Harold Simon, it was a home race for these guys, and it's very much a home race for Gunther Bauer, who is actually one of the organizers of this event and plays a big part in the running of this track and circuit. We're all indoors today, and it's gonna be some pretty good ice, different from what we've had before, and we're looking for it to hold up well over the course of the 20 heats and the semi-finals and final of day one. The first heat will take place with Dmitry Koltakov on the inside, Svensson, Pletsaka and Zorn around the outside. Zorn pushed a little bit wide there as he tried to go around too many people in the first turn and it's Svensson in second place, loses out on the turn in for the second corner and it's Koltakov at the moment who is using the smooth flat ice to carve his way into the lead. Daniel Ivanov looking on and it is between these two. Last time out, the gap was closed by Koltakov right down. And Danny Ivanov is looking to bounce back from that after some illness last time out. Heat two, Dmitry Komitsovic and Vitaly Komitsovic alongside each other. One, two into the first turn. Jan Kratovsky back in this one as well. And Robert Henderson filling up the back line. But Vitaly Komitsovic already playing a rearguard action for his brother. His brother still technically just in with the shout of taking this championship if everything goes wrong, but at least looking for that final step on the podium. And at the moment, with that first win, it's all going his way. Jan Kotowski getting the final point in that heat. Harold Simon on the inside next to Gunther Bauer. These two looking for a decent start at home. Pavel Czajka gets the good start from the outside, sweeps across in front of them, but Harold Simon cuts it back inside. So Simon into the lead. Chaika running just slightly wider, but that inside line is the shortest way round, and at the moment that's good for Harold Simon. Gunther Bauer is in third place at the moment, running very well here actually. This is about as close as he's been all year to Harold Simon. And in fact, moving into second place now, Gunther Bauer's up into second, and it's going to be Austria from Germany, and the Russians nowhere in that first heat for those guys. Heat four, Gregor Snap, Stellingworth, Daniel Ivanov there, who gets the best start and shoots into the lead ahead of Stellingworth. Max Nedermeyer running now. Oh, Stellingworth, big moment, loses it completely, slides off the inside of the bike, and then the bike picks up, manages to carry on, but he's not going to be getting any points, and that was a good start for him. Disappointment for the Dutch rider. Easy does it for Daniel Ivanov, over the line, nice and simple. No problems there. So after one round of heats, it's as we expected. Harold Simon popping up fourth place just ahead of Vitaly Komitsovic. Pavel Chaika, only one point from his first round. We'll hope to see more of him as the day progresses. So on to heat number five. The bike's just getting a little tweak after these guys have had their first run of the day. Obviously, they had practiced the day before, but now they know what the bike feels like on this fresh ice. So Koltakov, second from your right. Komitsovic as well, and it looks like they've got a problem with the start. Yes, indeed. The starting officials are saying that there's a problem with Koltakov. He's been judged to have moved at the start, so it's a full start, and Koltakov is out. That is a big, big blow. He's talking with Nikolai Krasnikov there, complaining about the clutch movement. But that is a disaster, actually, so early on for Koltakov. He's going to be replaced by Franz Meyerbucher, number 17. 
who gets a pretty awful start, and it's going to be Dmitry Kamitsevich who takes it early into the lead. Krysov just behind him. So Kamitsevich is pretty much gifted the three points in this, and that will be big, big problems for Koltakov and his championship results. Max Nedermeyer having a fight with Krysov here. Krysov just goes on the inside, and, and Nedermeyer's caught the block. He's caught the barrier and ripped it open. So we're going to have to replace that and have a restart. Nedermeyer disqualified from that before stopping the race. And once more we go. And it is Kamitsevich who's got it from the start. No problems for him this time round. Three riders out there and it's going to be Kamitsevich from Kreisov. And then the replacement rider, Franz Meyerbuka, who will bring it home in third place. All European here in Heat 6, Stellingwerf, Simon, Svensson and Jan Kutowski. And it is Harold Simon who gets the early running. Stellingwerf in third, Svensson in second. There he is just settling in behind Harold Simon who's already got fair few bike links lead. And watch out for Kutowski, he's trying to put it back up the inside. Not quite at that moment. The cutback line is working very well on this track, going slightly wider on the way in. But there's no need for that for Harold Simon. Takes the win in Heat number 6. Good the battle on the inside, Gregor's nap. Vitaly Kamitsovic with the best start from these guys though. Stefan Platzacker runs it wide. Again, a home track for him. He lives about seven kilometers away just down the road. At the moment, he's in fourth. Good to bow in second. Pushing and harrying Vitaly Kamitsovic already. Long straights here. The bike's getting right up to their maximum speeds of the championship. But it's Vitaly Kamitsovic who seems to have this one in the bag. Good to bow, wipes his goggles as it crosses the line for a valuable two points. Franz Horn just riding out there in heat eight alongside Daniel Ivanov who gets the better start. Franz Zorn sweeps in the inside though. Ivanov has to go the long way round and Zorn has it at the moment. Takes the inside line again. Ivanov running the long way round and does manage to pull in front. Zorn runs a little bit wide. Ivanov's got it. Behind them, Pavel Chaika. And Christoph Kirchner is in this race as well. He's replacing Robert Henderson who did not start. And that is it for Daniel Ivanov. He takes the three points ahead of Franz Zorn. So Ivanov Kamitsevich and then Harold Simon in third place. Vitaly Kamitsevic moves up to fourth. And Dmitry Kolsakov only in seventh after losing all of those points. Max Nedermeyer in ninth at the moment on two points. Heading up the second page of the standings. Okay, this is Koltakov who's having a few issues with the clutch, trying to repair it. And that is obviously what happened. The clutch just released a little bit early. The starts are so key in these races, you have to get everything right, and if something plays up a little bit, you can change your plan completely. But that has helped Ivanov as he heads out for the next heat. He's got a bit more of a cushion already. Ivanov in blue next to Klotowski. Dmitry Koltakov is alongside him now. And a better start for Koltakov. A little bit cautious. And having to settle for second place at the moment behind Ivanov. This is crunch time already on day one. The psychological battle really kicks off now. Who's going to get the head start in this? And Ivanov is the man who's going to take it comfortably over Koltakov. Who perhaps has changed too much on that bike because that was not the speed we've expected from him so far. Pavel Chaika, Kamitsovic, Gregor's nap here, and Stefan Svensson who gets the early lead, but then it's not for very long as Dmitry Kamitsovic brings it back through ahead of Chaika. Still riding fairly subdued is Pavel Chaika. Kamitsovic has got this one though. No real problems for him. Led from corner two and over to take another three points. Chaika in second, and Svensson just losing out at the last. Robert Henderson down the inside, back in here, and pushing for the lead, pushing. In fact, there was Petzacker out wide, now he's got Kreisov behind him. Henderson leading the race, Kreisov in second place, Rene Stellingberg in third, and watch up the inside line, here comes Kreisov, rolls off a little bit later. Henderson forced to go the long way round, tries to pull it back inside, but it's not to be. Good pass there from Kreisov. Henderson back on the bike after mechanical issues once again, but two points in a decent race for him. Petzacher in third, Stellingworth in fourth position. 
T12, Max Nedermeyer down the inside, but not a good start for him. Franz Zorn, a decent start, and Vitaly Komitovic running the long outside line. Leading at the moment, two bike lengths over Zorn. Harold Simon's a little bit further back in this one. He hasn't got the pace in this heat for some reason. And it will be Komitovic who takes it over the line. Just ahead of Frankie Zorn, Harold Simon in third position. Max Nedermeyer failing to score, so he won't move up the standings anymore. Ivanov, Komitovic, and then Vitaly Komitovic. Harold Simon slips one place. Franz Zorn moves up to fifth. And Edward Kreisov just ahead of Dmitry Koltakov. <laughs> Stefan Svensson just giving a little bit of advice. It looks like for the gearbox of Robert Henderson. Perhaps that was the problem that saw him miss one heat as we head into heat 13. Vitaly Komitovic on the inside. And it's he who gets the early lead. Dmitry Koltakov pushing up the inside of Pavel Chaika and moving through into second position. Koltakov needs to take this one and he's closing right down on Komitovic. Pulls back to the inside and is dead level as they head down into the turn. Using a little bit of extra speed there, Koltakov gets through, shuts off a little bit later and takes the victory. Koltakov, three points and he is happy with that one. A return to form for the young Russian. They reset the starting gate for Heat 14. Svensson, Nedermeyer, Henderson and Bauer on the outside. Bauer sweeps wide. Pushed wide though by Nedermeyer who bobbled on the way in and it's Svensson just ahead of Nedermeyer. Good that Bauer's pushed all the way back to fourth from second. Henderson pulling back the other inside and Nedermeyer was leading this one briefly. Svensson just closes him off. Nedermeyer goes up the inside. Runs very, very wide. Look at Gunther Bauer. Moves up into third position and he's challenging for second. Gunther Bauer now moves into the lead, pushing past Svensson. And it could be a historic win for Gunther Bauer and his home track. And the big German man is very happy with that one. And a one-handed wheelie on the back straight to show his appreciation to the fans for their support. Daniel Ivanov closest to the camera there for heat number 15. Pletzaka pushed out wide. Harold Simon, best of the rest at the moment. Dmitry Gumitovic running in second position. Ivanov is away with the fairies in this one. No problems for Daniel Ivanov ahead of Komitovic. Harold Simon in third position. Heat 16, Kreisov, Klotowski, Zorn and Nat, but it is Zorn once more with a perfect start. Leads early on, Kreisov in second position. Gregor's Nap has been quite subdued so far this weekend after his actions in Assen one week ago. And Klotowski takes advantage of that, pulls back up into third position. Frankie Zorn cruising away with this one at the moment. No problems for him. Flash past our curb cam. And it's Kreisov in second position. We'll have to settle for second for Frankie Zorn who takes a valuable three points. That indeed moves Franz Zorn up into fourth position. Harold Simon was the one that dropped most down to sixth. Koltakov moves up two spots into fifth position. So should be safely through to the semi-finals with one race for everybody left. few adjustments to all the bikes before we get started for our final round of heats. The ice is holding up pretty well here. We're inside in a speed skating arena and you can notice that the ruts are much less significant than they have been before. And you'll see it from these guys as Dmitry Koltakov leads out here. The speeds are much higher than they are normally. The bikes are bouncing around a lot less as Harold Simon sits in second place ahead of Gregor's nap. Koltakov with no real issues so far in this final heat for him. Takes the three points, secures his place in the semi-finals alongside Harold Simon. Vitaly Komitovic there, ready to see if he can get back on the podium as he did last week. But it's not to be with a start like that, pushed way outside. Svensson up the inside of him, but Daniel Ivanov, the man leading this at the moment, Komitovic trying to go around the outside of Svensson, but there's no room there. Kreisov also in there. Komitovic now into second place, just behind Daniel Ivanov, but there's no hope of catching him as they cross the line. Three points for Ivanov, two for Komitovic. Svensson pushed all the way back to fourth, right at the last. 
Stefan Petzaka in this heat in second position takes the early inside line and that is a good start for him behind Pavel Czajka, Max Nedermar and Jan Kutowski running each other wide. Oh, and moments there. Big push. Stefan Pletzaka has pushed out wide and that could be where well, he's protesting. I don't know whether that's going to make any difference, but no Stefan Pletzaka just having to pull up. And that means that the battle for second is on. Good win for Pavel Czajka. And it will be Max Nedermeyer who gets a second position. As Stefan Pletzaka's bike falls over in the final ignominy as he protests to the judges. But I don't think he's going to get anything out of that. Our final heat of the night, Dmitry Kamitsevic. Best start for him ahead of Stellingworth briefly and Franz Zorn. In the moment, good to bow is in second position. No worries for him. He is riding like a man possessed this weekend ahead of Frankie Zorn and pushing Dmitry Kamitsevic for this one. So close to the rush, and you wouldn't expect that so much, but it is Kamitsevic ahead of Gundogan. He is very happy with that, and so are all the fans. So, our top eight, even of Kamitsevic, Koltakov, Kamitsevic again, Simon Zorn, Bauer into the semi-finals, Pavel Chaika, one of the ones who is missing out. And we will get our draw as normal. Picking first, Daniel Ivanov, he'll be racing Koltakov, Zorn and Bauer. The two Kamitsevic brothers in Heat 2 with Harold Simon and Edward Kreisov making it to the semi-final for the first time in a while. So the inside gate pick once more went to Daniel Ivanov. He'll start with the red bib. Dmitry Koltakov alongside him. Gunter Bauer ahead of Frankie Zorn. Let's see what the two European riders can do on their home track. Will it give them any extra? Good start though for Zorn. Push a little bit wide by Koltakov. Good to bow, pulls back up the inside into third, and it's Ivanov with the early running at the moment. Ivanov from Koltakov, this could be decisive for the championship. Koltakov has beaten him before, and he can do it again, but he needs to get a little bit closer. Third place at the moment for Frankie Zorn, he's got past Gunther Bauer, but it's all about these two. Slightly wider line there for Ivanov. Koltakov aiming to stand the bike up and gas it out earlier. I just don't think he's close enough at the moment. It looks like Ivanov's got this one covered. In fact, he's not even going that defensive. He's choosing to run the fastest line. And indeed, it's enough for him. So Ivanov takes semi-final one ahead of Dmitry Koltakov, Franz Zorn and Gunther Bauer, rounding out the finishing order for semi-final number one. Important points already decided there and the semi-final two. We'll see who joins them in the final. We've got the two Kamitsovic brothers, Dimitri and then Vitaly, Harold Simon and Edvard Kreisov, just on the outside there. Best start goes to Dimitri Kamitsovic. His brother sweeps wide outside and Kreisov pulls it back inside. But it is Dimitri Kamitsovic who's got the early running. Vitaly pushing the outside line, Kreisov just inside him. And look out for Harold Simon. He's got the inside line on Kreisov. Not quite, runs almost inside the blue markings and pulls it back inside. Harold Simon's into third place. Vitaly Kamitsovic looks over his shoulder and sees Harold Simon there, looking at each other, they exchange a glance, and Harold Simon is the man on a move, pulls the inside line once more and up into second. Simon is into second, now challenging Dmitry Kamitsovic. One lap to go. Dmitry Kamitsovic leads. Harold Simon once more pulls it up the inside and in the lead. Harold Simon leads semi final two here tonight. Pushing it hard, a little bit of bobbling. It's going to be a drag to the light. And Harold Simon, Dmitry Kamitsovic, who's it going to be? And it's Harold Simon. What a win for Harold Simon. Wins semi final two and gets into his first final of the year. And he is very happy about that. Great result for him. Dmitry Kamitsovic just loses about by about the width of a tie. Vitaly Kamitsovic and Edward Kreisov rounding out three and four and not making it any further. Gate picks, even on first, Dmitry Kamitsovic second. Then we have Koltakov and Harold Simon starting right on the outside. Here is our final then. At the moment, Ivanov has a sizable gap in the points, but he'll want to increase it with a win here tonight. Dmitry Kamitsovic starting next to him. Then Koltakov in white. He's got to go a little bit further down to the first corner, and it will be Kamitsovic. Kamitsovic gets the best start but runs a little bit wide and Ivanov cuts it back inside. Koltakov now pushing up and towards second place and will get through on this bend, indeed he does. Harold Simon once again trying to run that inside line. 
but it's not quite so successful at the moment. Ivanov from Koltakov, Kamitsevich in third, and dropping back like a stone. And it's all about these two ones again, running just a little bit of a higher pace than anybody else. One lap to go across the stripe. Koltakov has got to do something about this. He's just not close enough with one corner to go. It's going to be Ivanov who's going to take this one. Koltakov is going to lose out again. Another point disappearing in his championship challenge. And Ivanov wheelies over the line to recover from the disappointment of Assen and take day one here in Inzel. And he knows he is number one. Confirmation of those results. Ivanov from Koltakov. And look at that points difference. Six points to the good for Daniel Ivanov today. Dmitry Kravitsovich second in points, but will be third overall today. Harold Simon, a great result for him in fourth. Vitaly Kamitsovic and Franz Zorn in sixth, so the Austrians having their best run together so far this year. In the second race, I had a problem because I had that full start. I just lost my nerves, so I was very nervous and lost my patience. And I started, and I, I knew it was a full start, and that really ruined my day. Yes, it's a very, very strong weekend because uh, last weekend I was uh, sick a little bit, and uh, now, now everything is okay, and I make today is very good result. I make a complete point, and uh, I'm very happy today. And uh, now, tomorrow I have more very, very strong day, very hard day, and uh, I won't make everything for win tomorrow. Daniel Ivanov there leading the championship points and also proving that he is a bit of a dark horse. He's been hiding that English voice for quite a while. And he speaks pretty good English as well, so we'll hear more from him in the future, I'm sure. But it's a comfortable lead after day one. He accepts the podium to the roar of the fans, Ivanov, the man who is trying to put one hand on the trophy by the end of this final four. We're here in the ice stadium in Insel. Here we have really long straights of 110 metres and two identical bends with 21 metre radii and a track width of 13 metres at the widest point. Here on the start line we have the four distinct start places. The end zone line is red, then blue, white and then yellow. The most important technique for a good start is to really concentrate, to be calm, and have good reactions. Reactions are the most important thing. In ice race is that heel belangrijk. Comparing, for example, to grass track in ice speedway, it is almost always best to start from the inside on the red gate because with our tyres we have total grip, and the red is always the shortest line to the first corner. It could be worth 40% of the way to winning the race if you can get a good start. Now we're here at the first corner and the big difference in the bends between Russia and Europe is that here in Germany we have smaller bends and longer straights and in Russia they are bigger bends and shorter straights that isn't the best for my style. With short bends, you also have to make the bike as short as possible. And sometimes, we also put the back wheel a little outside the line of the front wheel, and we make these adjustments to go very fast around the bend. It's always quite hard to explain how we overtake in the bends, because it depends on the situation. The inner line is the shorter way, but all the riders take that line for safety and block it. And then you have to look and see if you can run the outside, and then this depends on the ice quality. When the ice is quite hard, then it gets more bumpy, and all the riders look to ride further out. When you want to pass someone, you must not wait too long, as the four laps pass very quickly. So you have to look for one or two bends to see his line and what would be the best gap to overtake. But if you see the gap, 
You have to go for it, otherwise it's too late. Hoe hij de bocht neemt en waar voor jou eventueel een gat kan ontstaan om hem in te halen. Als het gat er is, moet je het ook onmiddellijk pakken. Now, at the end of the straight, it's the fastest place on the track. And the important thing is you must look as you exit the corner before, so you can open the throttle early and have full speed on the straight. With good ice, that can be as high as 120, 130 kilometers an hour. Because of this, it's important to find the perfect setup with the forks and the suspension. That means that naturally, you can ride better and faster. Both the frame and suspension are important. Obviously the rider too, but the frame can very much affect the speed of the bike and therefore the results in the racing. Now on the finish line, but the finish line is not a special one, as it's the same on every track. But it's very nice and very important to cross it in first place. Okay, now it's time to go and race. And we can see if I can have some good races here today. A guide there to this Inzel Ice Speedway, which is pretty unique so far this year. Good about one of the men who organizes it and it's a home race also for Harold Simon who had a good run yesterday with some changes to the bike. Insel is like my home race here and there are lots of fans and this sort of motivation is very important. With many fans there they all had their fingers crossed for me and it's much better than in Russia. It is much better, but he's had some help from the Russians ahead of this. He's got a new tyre that was given to him by Nikolai Krasnikov, who, and with alongside his father, make a lot of the tyres for these riders. And he's got a new setting on the bike that he's got from Dmitry Koltakov. So that's why Harold Simon is going faster. Straight into heat one, and we had a fall as Jan Kotowski hit Stefan Pletsacker and pushed him out. That forced a restart. Jan Kotowski was pushed out, and Pletsacker got to restart alongside Robert Henderson and Harold Simon with those new settings on the bike. And it showed as he led it on the restart. Petsacker back up into second ahead of Henderson. Easy win though for Harold Simon. Henderson just squeezing on the line, but the two points would indeed go his way. Petsacker, after the ignominy of that crash, comes out with one point. He too straight up, Franz Zorn, Pavel Chaika, Daniel Ivanov, but a crash there for Ivanov. He was pushed out by Zorn and it was a judge that Zorn was the man at fault. So Ivanov will get to restart and Franz Zorn will have to push out wide. These guys running very fast on the fresh ice and causing all sorts of issues. So Ivanov gets to restart alongside Chaika and Gregor's nap. Chaika with the best start early on, but round the outside it's going to be Ivanov Obviously no after effects from that crash. And pulling it back to take the win. So down and out and back through for Daniel Ivanov ahead of Pavel Chaika and Gregor Znat. Stefan Svensson, Koltakov, Stellingworth and Max Nadermeyer on the outside, number 16. The young German sweeping right round the outside, but that is the longest way into the first turn. Svensson with the lead early on ahead of Koltakov. Perhaps smarting from yesterday's defeat. Oh, and indeed getting so close there. Actually making a bit of contact with Svensson who pushed him wide, blocking nicely, but it's not to be. Svensson has to give best to Koltakov. He takes the win in heat number three. Dmitry Gmitsevich alongside his brother for heat four, Gunther Bauer and Edward Kreisov. Bad start for Gunther Bauer, a good start for the Gmitsevich brothers, and it's Dmitry who's got the early running ahead of his brother Vitaly. Bikes bouncing in, this is about as uh, bad as the track got yesterday it's not holding up so well today at the moment Gunther Bauer is making the most of that pulling back up into third place and that's where he's going to stay Kmitovic wins from his brother Vitaly Gunther Bauer in third position so even of Koltakov Kmitovic and Harold Simon your four winners so far after the first four heats
few clutch adjustments and a little bit of fuel going in. These bikes running on methanol. And lining up for heat number five. Kreisov on the inside, Petzaka Zorn sweeping through from the white gate pick to take the early running. Rene Stellingworth dropping back into fourth place early on. And it's Frankie Zorn who's got this from Kreisov at the moment. Runs a little bit wide, Kreisov going for the inside line, not quite close enough there. Now chooses to switch to the outside, Zorn going defensive. A little bit slow in the middle of the corner, but it's not enough for Edvard Kreisov to take it happy with two points behind Frankie Zorn. On the outside, look for Daniel Ivanov to sweep across the front of this one. Vitaly Gimitovic on the inside, and it is Ivanov who runs a long way way around. Gimitovic has got it though, and Svensson is looking to hold on to second position. Oh, just throwing that bike in there from Daniel Ivanov, and got carried so much more speed he had to check on the exit of the corner so as not to run into the back of Kamitsovic. Switches to the inside line, pulls back into first position. So Ivanov into the lead of this heat. Runs a little bit wide, but it's not to be. And Ivanov wins ahead of Kamitsovic and Svensson in third position, taking one single point in heat six. Already we're on to heat number seven. Koltakov, Kamitsovic, Chaika and Robert Henderson here. Pushing around the outside, oh, and Dmitry Kvitovic had a moment. Looks like he's hit, hit the barrier, and then as they put the red flag out, he can't stop. He shuts off the throttle too big, and that means that he is going to be not allowed back in the restart. He clipped the barriers, and therefore caused a stoppage of the race. So Kvitovic now won to miss out on a potential points haul, and that leaves the way open for Koltakov to race against Chaika here. Massive drama for Kvitovic. A tiny, tiny mistake just ran a little bit too wide, but it's so easy to do as the ice starts to break up. Harold Simon on the inside line, Gregor's not next to him. Good start there from Max Nedermeyer, number 16, runs it in deep, but he's up into second position at the moment behind Harold Simon. Bobble on the way in for the young German and might just lose out. No, he's just holding off Gregor's nap. Gunther Bauer up into second place at the last and takes it. Second place for Gunther Bauer. He came through from nowhere as the young German Neda Meyer faded. Ivanov from Kolsakov, Simon. And Dmitry Gomitovic drops down to sixth position already. Svensson just outside the top eight at the moment. Robert Henderson, a better start to the day for him. The track gets prepared and all the crushed ice gets knocked off. And a small clutch change there for Koltakov still having issues with that bike's clutch, trying to get the setting exactly right. E9, Ivanov, Bauer, Pledsacker and Dmitry Koltakov around the outside. Let's see if those clutch changes have had an effect, and they have. Sweeps into the lead ahead of Ivanov. Flashing past our camera, and this is better from Koltakov. He's got his head back in the game and his bike back on track. Wheelie there from Ivanov over the line, but it's not to be Koltakov. Gets some sweet revenge on Ivanov and takes one valuable championship point back from him. Nedermeyer's back out in this one, but not such a good start alongside Frankie Zorn and Dmitry Kamitsevich. He'll be learning from that mistake from last time. Like his brother said, sometimes he can get a little bit too excited. That's what I think happened in the last heat. He's not excited here as he takes the win, sweeps back in the inside in the last turn to take it at the death from Frankie Zorn. Nedermeyer gets the final point. Henderson on the inside in red alongside Stellingworth, Gregor's Knapp and Vitaly Kamitsevich. Gregor's Knapp with the early running, Kamitsevich forced wide and Knapp will lead this one as we head down the back straight. Gregor's Knapp leads the race for the first time this weekend but not for long as Kamitsevich goes through on the inside of him, pushes him out wide. Kamitsevich with this one in hand at the moment. No real problems for Vitaly Kamitsevich, he takes it over Gregor's Knapp. And third place will go to René Stellingworth. Stefan Svensson up in this one alongside Kreisov, Simon and Pavel Chaika, who gets the early running with that good start from the inside gate pick. Harold Simon again cuts back inside and moves up briefly into first position. No, Pavel Chaika rolls off later 
and takes a slightly wider line. Will Simon pull it back inside? He does. Harold Simon has got this into the lead. He's got that dominant inside line and it's still fast enough for him to take the win. There goes Harold Simon. An important heat race win for him over Pavel Chaika. So Harold Simon at the moment, second in the standings, ahead of Ivanov and the Kamitsovic brothers. Pavel Chaika, better for him in six sixth position, ahead of Frankie Zorn. Stefan Svensson still just hovering outside those semi-final positions. E13, Pletsaka closest to you, then Nedermeyer, Vitaly Kamitsovic and Pavel Chaika. Should be Vitaly Kamitsovic into turn one, and it is ahead of Chaika. Squeezing through, but a slow second line for Chaika, nearly losing out to Stefan Pletsacker there, settling into third position. This is a better run for Pletsacker. He knows his track inside out, and he's scoring better than he has so far this year, but not scoring well enough at the moment, as Vitaly Kamitovic takes the three points from heat number 13. Jan Kotovsky, Edward Kreisov, Koltakov, and Gregor Znat push right outside there. And it's Koltakov who's got this at the moment. No real problems for the big Russian. Takes it nice and easily ahead of Kreisov. Jan Kotovsky in fourth position. Here we go. Got the bow on the inside line. Robert Henderson is not starting again. More by problems. He was replaced by Franz Meyerbucher once more. And it's Franz Zorn who's got the early running here, running that outside line to some great effect ahead of Gunther Bauer and Stefan Svensson. Franz Zorn, another three points for him, puts himself well in chance, making it through to the semi-finals once more. Heat 16, Ivanov just outside Stellingworth, but it doesn't matter where. Oh, big moment there for Ivanov, just into second place now behind Dmitry Gavitsevich. Harold Simon back in fourth at the moment. Oh, Stellingworth, a big bubble just in the camera there, and that makes him lose out. Stellingworth drops back, and Harold Simon up the third. But it is Ivanov who's now into the lead. Just slides around the outside of Dmitry Kamitsovich, and will take three points. Ivanov brings himself back up onto the level with that score. So Koltakov with one point over Ivanov. Harold Simon, great run for him in third place, had a Vitaly Kamitsovich and Dmitry Kamitsovich. Got one more series of hits to go, and we've got Kreisov just hovering outside the top eight at the moment. Dmitry Koltakov will line up alongside Vitaly Kamitsovic and Franz Zorn, with Franz Zorn taking the early running. Then we had a massive moment for Koltakov. He clipped the inside of the packed snow with his knee, and that threw him over the outside of the bike, and that meant he was out, and a big crash, but up, and OK. Then, in the second restart, Vitaly Kamitsovic had a big moment as well, pushed outside line by Zorn, which meant that we had Zorn and Simon for the final restart. Good start from Frankie Zorn. Looks like he's got this one early on. Both of these guys are pretty safely through to the semi-finals, and it will be Frankie Zorn ahead of a coasting Harold Simon, who doesn't see much point in racing for the win at that point. Heat 18, Pavel Chaika, René Stellingworth with a decent start, actually. Good start for René Stellingworth, settles into third. Around the outside is Gunther Bauer, and it's Gunther Bauer who's leading this one at the moment, ahead of Chaika, Stellingworth, and then Jan Kotowski. Great start for Gunther Bauer. The big German wheelies over the line to take his second race win of the weekend, ahead of the adoring home crowd. Great stuff there from Gunther Bauer. We move on to our penultimate heat. Robert Henderson once more not starting, again replaced by Franz Meyerbucher, who gets a great start ahead of Nedermeyer, Kreisov, and Daniel Ivanov pushed right to the outside behind the World Cup, but Daniel Ivanov goes from fourth to first. Ivanov passes three guys in one line, and Kreisov now up into second place, past the wild card, and through behind Ivanov. Ivanov, bad start, but gets it back together to take the three points in his final heat race. One more heat to go, Gregor's nap. Dmitry Gamitovic needs the three points. Svensson and Stefan Pletsacker. Oh, big moment there for Stefan Svensson. The bike got all away from him. It looks like something might have broken, and he is out of this race. Gamitovic is going to take this one. 
and it is going to be just Gregor's Nap who gets the two points for second position in that final heat. Stefan Pletzaka has to be satisfied with one, but here are our top eight. Top eight, Ivanov, Koltenkov, Simon Kamitsevic, Sean Kamitsevic, Vitali, Pavel Chaika, Kreisov just missing out. So does Gregor's Nap, but a good ride for him. Stefan Svensson dropping back to 11. Ivanov. Not looking too excited at the moment as the two commitment brothers also draw and Pavel Chaika makes his first semi-final. Much happier Koltikov and Harold Simon alongside Frankie Zorn and Gunther Bauer in another semi-final. Two days in a row for the big German. Ivanov will have the insert line ahead of Dmitry Kamitsevich, Vitaly Kamitsevich and Pavel Chaika. Off we go for our first semi-final. Good start there for Daniel Ivanov. Dmitry Kovicic has a big wheelie and has to control it. Drops him back into second position. Third now behind his brother, who's looking more racy now than he was yesterday. Daniel Ivanov with this lead at the moment of the inside for Dmitry Kovicic. Running the long way round for... Oh, Daniel Ivanov runs it very, very wide. Ivanov makes a mistake mid-corner there. And Dmitry Kovicic comes through from third into first almost. He's got the inside line now, and that could be enough for him. They're neck and neck. No quarter given by these guys, but it's just a little bit shorter there for Kamitsevich. And he pulls a bike length on Ivanov. Kamitsevich just leading at the moment. Kicks it up. He's got that inside line guarded. He's going to switch back to the inside and hold it from Ivanov with just two corners to go. Bit of a bobble there for Kamitsevich. Ivanov has got to go to the inside. It's the only way to make a pass, but it's been guarded well by Kamitsevich. He's going to come out of this corner and take semi-final number one. Dmitry Kamitsevich ahead of Ivanov, Vitaly Kamitsevich and Pavel Chaika in fourth position. Big win there for Dmitry Kamitsevich. Just doing all he could to get ahead of Daniel Ivanov and taking the maximum points available. Koltikov alongside Simon Zorn and Gunther Bauer in this our oh, semi-final two. Simon with his best gate pick so far. The blue gate, let's see how it makes it on the start. Watch out for Frankie Zorn, he is a starting demon. And indeed he is briefly in the lead, but then pushed out wide. Harold Simon goes for the inside line. Pulls it back and into second place. Koltakov, Simon, then it is Frank Zorn. Big moment for Frank Zorn. Hits a bad patch of ice, picks it up and the bike kicks him out and he is now dropped back to fourth. Gunther Bauer in third position. Big moment there for Frankie Zorn, and that dropped him way too far back, surely, to have any impact on the outcome of the victory of this race. Koltakov leading from Harold Simon. Good the bout, and Frankie Zorn looking down at his bike. He's not happy with something there. Perhaps caught a bit of the bike on the ground as well. Koltakov, nice and easy, looking very relaxed, pushing the bike down underneath him. Crossing the strike with one lap to go. Harold Simon is not done with this one yet, but this will see him through to yet another final. So smooth for Koltakov. Perhaps this the less competitive of the two semi-finals we've seen, but important points for him. And that again gives him one extra point back on Daniel Ivanov in the championship standings. So Koltakov from Harold Simon. Good to bow with one point. Franzorn after that mistake has to settle for fourth position. Into our final draw, Daniel Ivanov, Koltakov, Dmitry Gamitsevich and Harold Simon makes another final position. Let's see if we can do better than yesterday's results. Ivanov once more with that inside gate pick. It's been a while since he hasn't had that. Koltakov then Gamitsevich. Harold Simon on the outside, the tape leaps up and away they go and it's Kamitsevich who gets the best start. Harold Simon pushed on the outside but into second place briefly ahead of Ivanov. Dmitry Kamitsevich has got this one at the moment. Oh and a big moment there for Harold Simon. Harold Simon is down and crashes through the barriers and they stop the race. Let's take a look at that again. Look at the top of the screen. Harold Simon catches the inside, bounces through and goes straight through and over the barriers. But he's up and he seems to be okay. The reports we're getting is that he's conscious and able to stand. So he's not going to take part in this restart, but he should be okay. 
Away we go for this, the second start on the final. And it's another good start for Dmitry Kamitsevich ahead of Ivanov Koltikov. Round the outside in third position at the moment, trying to get into second. He needs to beat Ivanov today. That's all it's about. He doesn't care about Kamitsevich. It's all about beating Ivanov. And Ivanov wants to get a more comfortable championship position. And that's what he's getting. Moving into first place, pulling it back along the inside. These guys pushing to the absolute limit. The track really rutting up on the way into that second turn. And now everybody's starting to push to a slightly wider outside line. Ivanov not too defensive, he's leaving a little bit of a gap there. Koltikov around the outside of Komitsovic. It's not going to be Koltikov now in third position at the moment. With one lap to go, two bends, he's got to get past Komitsovic if he wants to keep his championship hopes alive. Small mistake there for Ivanov, he's pushing at the absolute limit. The bike flying and struggling for grip. It's not going to be for Koltikov. It will be Daniel Ivanov who takes the win here. Two out of two. Dmitry Kamitsovic in second position and Dmitry Koltikov in third place. Harold Simon obviously not scoring, but he is okay. A few bruises and a cut hand, but that is it for Harold Simon. Daniel Ivanov, three points the gap over Kamitsovic and Koltikov. So he extends his championship lead once more as we head to our last yes, couple of races. Of course, I really tried to do my best, but today I didn't do that very well because I lost a lot of points to Daniel again. But for the next race, I will try to do much better. I have to. Oh, it was a really hard day. I made a mistake, and that was my fault, and then I was disqualified. But then I pulled myself together and tried to continue. And of course, I wanted to get first place, but I'm still happy that I was able to get on the podium today. Thanks to everybody, and I think that everyone could see that today was a really hard day. Even harder than yesterday, but thank God everything was okay, and I won, and I'm just really happy about that. So there are our championship standings, 12 points a gap now, with just one final to go. Two days of racing to decide the world championship. Ice Speedway Gladiators for 2013 and we'll be back with you in just a week's time as we head to Final Five in Uppsala to see if Daniel Ivanov can take the World Championship of 2013 and become the Ice Gladiator.